what's up everyone and happy friday happy friday yay i hope everyone is having a great day a beautiful day and a blessed day as always so i was on the phone with my sister not that long ago right and you know we was discussing some things you know and the thing about me is like the way i'm set up right now and god like i can talk about god all day long right so you know with what we were discussing like the spirit of god was only so heavy so within that being said i knew like okay this is gonna be you know my message for today because you know the same way that you know somebody is going through something right um that you may know like there's somebody else out there there is somebody else out there in the world you know that is going through the exact same thing that may need to hear you know a little bit of encouragement or whatever the case may be and so today is going to be like a two-part video um that i want to talk about and the first thing is that you know one thing when it comes to anything that you have fallen victim to in your past right you know whenever you get to a place right where god has delivered you from a certain place in your life right but then you wound up in some type of way you know in the wrong environments or around the wrong people and then you begin to slide backwards right into your old habits and your old ways what happens is that gives the that gives the enemy the devil right a, a opportunity right a way into your life why because he knows our weaknesses and he knows that as long as he knows our weaknesses that he can pray on them and your weaknesses is a um open door for the devil to come in and take control back over your life and whenever he has that control right he comes to do what he is 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 born to do which is to still kill and destroy that is his job right to still kill and destroy so anything that you have fallen victim to anything you know that you know allows you to fall back into a dark place any type of addiction any type of negative habit anything that you know that is no good for you right if you see yourself falling victim to that i'm just here to remind you that you are giving the devil an open door into your life and that is good for nobody because then he can come in and take control right he can come in and guide you and he can tell you things right to make you feel like what you're doing is justified right he can tell you things to make you feel like you do have control over that thing that you know you know what i'm saying in some type of way that it is not healthy for you that it is not good for you but being that the enemy is now into your life he will tell you lies that for you seem to be true right and and, and his lies seem good right because it makes you feel like i say like you have the out of the control but in reality you don't in reality what's happening is you are finding yourself going backwards you are finding yourself in positions right that you used to be in when god has delivered you from that so this is how you know that it's not god because god is not going to send you back to a place that he has delivered you from if you ever find yourself going back just know that it is not god that's the enemy so anytime you feel like where you are is justified that is the enemy because again god is not going to send you back to any place that you did that he delivered you from so that's just the first thing that i want to tell some people like distinguish what the enemy is doing versus what the devil is doing i mean what god is doing because again god is here to uplift to help to grow to restore to repair and the enemy's job is to steal kill and destroy okay so with that being said on to my next um part of this message which is you know facts over faith faith over facts excuse me faith over facts because whenever you begin to get closer to god right he will begin to test your faith right really right testing how much you really rely and depend on him or are you just walking around saying that you know you believe in god you trust in god you know without having anything to really back that up should i say and so what happens is sometimes god wants us to give up control because a lot of times as humans right we like to have everything gonna control we like to have everything figured out we like to know you know what's is gonna happen and this 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 basically we like to get again have everything planned out and then have everything go according to plan for the most part but see that's not really relying on god because anything that you feel like you can do on your own god is not really in that so 
where I am in my life, right, God has put me to a test. And when I say the test is faith over facts, it is faith over facts. And what do I mean by faith over facts? Because whenever you are a person, right, when you're going through something or whenever God has told you to do something, right, has really put something on your heart and your facts of your reality are, there is no way this can happen. Like, I don't even know how I'm, I'm, I'm how this is about to happen right and again how i'm about to make this happen because again we want to control like how am i going to do this but god is going to test you in such a way for you to give up that control for you to say you know what i don't know how it's none of my business that is god's business my know-how is to do whatever it is to move on a faith that not most people would move on why because they would be too scared a lot of people, when you don't know the outcome of something, you were scared. So that keeps you in your comfort zone, right? That keeps you in your box. That keeps you in your safe place. Because as long as you know everything or how everything is going to happen, you are good. And again, that's not giving God any opportunities to show up and bless you with miracles. But whenever you are a person who says, you know what, God, I know what my reality says to me right now. I know that the way things look. From man's eye, people would think that I am crazy for the way I am going about this. People would be looking at, it's not any way that you are about to do this whenever this says this, whenever that says that, whenever you don't have this, whenever you don't have that. But because I understand that I'm not uh, supposed to rely on my own strength, when I understand that, you know, there is a source higher than anything that I can provide for myself when I understand that the kingdom of God is the only thing that I need to depend on in this world because why it would provide me with anything that I won't need and then some when I surrender to that when I become obedient to that that is when God is going to show up and show out in my life in such a way that miracles will begin to happen and people are going to only be looking at going to be looking at my life like and the only thing I can say is it was nothing but God. I can have that type of testimony because I choose to move by faith and not by facts. And there are so many people who are looking at your finances. There are so many people who are looking at the relationship of where it is now. There are so many people that are looking at where it is that you, where it is that you live now versus where you're trying to move. There are so many people who are looking at you know not having a job now and not understanding how they're going to get a job you know next month it's that when you begin to look at all these things that again are the facts then people become discouraged whenever you begin to look at all these things that are really going to hinder you and when you begin to tell this to the wrong person right when you begin to tell your faith moves right to the wrong person you know it can put a damper on you it can maybe even stop you or keep you stagnant for just a moment because you will begin to rethink right what it is that God has told you and what it is that God has shown you. Because again, they're bringing up the facts of your situation, the facts of your reality. Like, listen, you do not. There is no way that one plus one is equal in two in this situation. God is not a respecter of man. God doesn't care because God can do the impossible. This is why I say faith over facts because God moves in such a way that eyes have not seen, nor ears heard. God moves in such a way that he can take you from the lowest place that you've ever been to the highest place that you've ever been. Just like that. So my question to some of you are, are you living your life by facts, your reality? Or are you choosing to live your life by faith? Because choosing to live your life by faith will, again, allow God the space and the opportunity to bless you beyond your wildest dreams, as well as move mountains in your life, as well as make walls fall down, as well as produce healings in your life, and overall just produce miracles in your life. And again, surrendering to the faith and the belief in God will allow the impossible in your life to show up as the possible so 
listen i know this was a bit long um of a video but just the conversation like i said that i had earlier it was like god was only so heavy like you know it's crazy just how life is right and just how everything you know turns out for some people but again it's just all about what you choose in life because it's the power of your choice that gives you the authority to make certain decisions that can either hurt you or that will either help you in life so with that being said i hope that this message has helped inspire touch bless anyone who has reached and always let's be motivated but most importantly let's stay inspired